little saggy in the back. Welcome to another episode of Skid Rose Racing. I'm going to install the airbags on here so it tows better. And I don't know what else. Something. I'm sure I'll fit something else in here. Stay tuned. <laughs> here is the bags that are pre-assembled and to the best of my knowledge I think they said to leave that nut loose for now and um, now I need to remove the jounce bumpers and make way for the bags and they are labeled right and left that one's an R this is my second time installing an airlift product because that used to be on bags. Cue to a picture of that from the archives. So this thing just takes a deep socket 15 millimeter and I've already started to break it loose. So I'm awkwardly doing it with the camera sitting there. It's actually easier if you're underneath. Um, have the wheels blocked and there's different stands under the frame. We're loosening this bad Larry. The bang is just the wrench heading the exhaust pipe, which is in remarkable shape. I think a flex head ratchet would have been handy. But I'm not made out of money. So there's that. And apparently the bag goes up in the hole. The first major flaw with the directions is you're supposed to put this U bolt in under the vehicle because it actually tells you to torque these bolts down first. I got everything under the vehicle. I'm all dirty. It's hot. It's starting to get dark. And these do not fit. So now I gotta loosen those, pre-put those in, and then wrestle everything in with this ghetto U bolt. So yay airbags. Alrighty, a couple things that weren't covered in the uh, directions very well. They did say to flip sides with this. This is like a fuel vent tube, I believe. At least this was said in the directions and what it looks like to me. It actually slips right out of here if you pull really carefully, which I don't want to do again because I don't want to break it. And then some clips. Originally, I was going to just pull this hose clamp and that, and then I discovered that an accident. And then unclipped it, and then had to carefully bring it up around and then there's a plastic clip that you can see the bottom up here which I pried out with this uh, interior trim removal tool it's very inexpensive and I've also removed the wiring from the clip on the inside of the frame because I'm gonna have to drill a hole it looks like and then this piece here goes through the upper hole or the upper stud on this airbag that goes through where the jounce bumper as they call it went so I'm gonna continue getting everything in and film as I can found a hang up that's not covered in the instructions and it might be my particular model of van or something so over there that lower bracket probably can't see it super well it centers up on the axle tube this one not even close because it's against the brake line all right, so I got impatient and I went to the old porta band with the little stand thing and I have cut a notch out of it. So now it appears that it clears. I'm going to make sure that everything's happy there. But for now, I can secure the top, drill the holes, and then do the things. And I'm probably going to run the airbag lines tomorrow or the next day or whenever I have time because my frustration level is pretty high between them having me tighten these before I put the U-bolts in and then this not fitting 
and there being absolutely no way to make it work. So maybe these guys want to comment and tell me what I did wrong. Or maybe they want to admit that they're wrong. Who knows? Somebody's wrong. All right, so we're done. As far as I know, I left a little extra slack over there. So if that airline gets melted, I can undo this loop of slack that's kind of hidden up there and fix it on the side of the road. And this one, I cut a little short, but there's a little extra if I have to mess with it. So that's good. Um, the cut in here was absolutely necessary. In the instructions, this is clocked back more on whichever they're working on. So, you know, not super stoked on how the bag sits in there, but I guess that's just how it sits in there. And I guess it looks parallel enough on the top. And uh, the hole up there, they said the late model vans, which I don't know what they consider late model. They made these up to 2014, I believe, before they went to cutaway chassis only. And um, the hole I drilled is pretty close to an existing hole. And the other hole I could have drilled was that as well. So I just drilled the one that looked like it was furthest away from it. So that looks like it's gonna work. And everything is in place. The fuel vent tube worked beautifully. I did rip this while putting the bag in and out like three or four times, cutting that damn notch. And uh, so it's been shortened. So it's lighter weight, high performance. Got the little bracket over there to space that brake line away that the chintzy kit came with. And this bumper is in a pretty bad state. So we want to build another one for it anyway. So in the meantime, I just blindly drilled those holes. I'm going to try our best not to step on these getting in and out of the rig. And uh, if we do, we're kind of screwed. So got them set at 20 PSI overnight. Make sure everything's good. And um, we should be ready to do some serious towing. The bags are done to sum it up. Uh, it was very... Bird. It's very frustrating that I had to cut the thing, the little bracket to clear the brake line, and then that I had to disassemble everything to get the U-bolt on there. And then everything was, that driver's side I had to take in and out probably like five times. So frustrating. So, so we haven't put a lot of weight in here yet or anything like that, but what we have done is we drove it like over an hour out of town with like five pounds in the bags. They, it is a little more firm in the back, which is fine. We expect that. And there's going to be some more gear in there on the regular, so that should be fine. There's going to be probably more air in there when it's full of tires and the trailer's on there. And then the other thing is that it feels a little more stable around corners because it's, you know, more stiff. So that's good. Um, other thing is, I told you that there might be something else in this video. Well, there is. First, feast your eyes on this. Got a new trailer hitch. So now I have the balls to tow anything. And most importantly, last but not least, check out the blades on this thing. And they should remind you of something. Check out this front fitment. So we thought about going bigger, but it's a little tight here and here. This is going to go away with some kind of some kind of bumper we're going to build. But I didn't really feel like cutting this yet. And then the other thing is, I was kind of looking at this from across a parking lot, and this actually looked pretty good. It looks a little gappy right here right now, but there's hardly anything in it. And there's five pounds in the airbags. So it's a little springy uppy. So with a load, it should look perfect. The uh, F-250 does the same thing. It has had bags in it longer than I've owned it. So... I put weight in there, it's good. So, other thing is, the other reason we didn't get bigger on the tires, so you can see the door clearance, the door just barely, barely, barely rubs the tire. There's a little slack right here, but the solution is this hinge up here on this roller gets modified and then the door gets cut. I looked into it, they make kits, but they're in the range of $400. So at some point I'm going to get another one of these from the junkyard or eBay or something 
and I'm gonna make my own and figure it out because I don't want to pay that kind of money and I'll make a video about it when I do it. So all that's left before we tow is basically change the oil, kind of look it over a little more, but alignment's been done, drives better, and it actually still did pull a little left on the uncrowned roads after all those parts were in, but it had an alignment issue. But I'll cut that short and leave it at that. So everything's good. Thanks for tuning in. There is a playlist called Van Vlog. Check it out on the channel. Thank you.